Hello, good morning. Welcome to my uh, new Christmas journal. And um, this is a first for me. I've never made a Christmas journal before, so um, I'm really looking forward to it. And um, last night I spent some time cutting out lots of little bits and pieces. Um, I haven't cut them all out completely because... Um, to be honest, the light wasn't that good by the time I decided I'd have a go. And uh, I um, decided I'd leave it until uh, later on in the day, or rather earlier on in the day. So this kit here is um, absolutely beautiful. And I've cut, um, I've, I've actually um, printed this uh, in a lots of smaller versions so that I can make some uh, little dangly bits and tiny pieces of um, ephemera to um, attach to my journal pages. So little paper clips, altered paper clips and um, dingly danglies. I'm really wanting to try um, the dingly danglies that are covered in the um, the gloopy uh now what's it called now i haven't got the one you're supposed to get but i've got this one which is a gel paste and shiny by pentart so i'm gonna have a go with that but i'll make a separate video for those so those will be little dingly danglies and these i've sort of kiss cut um because i think they look nicer like that and that one again so that kit is by um let me look at my little notes here it's called victorian german christmas and it's by um tailor made journals and you can find that on her etsy shop and really nice lady she sent me a nice message after i'd purchased it so that's that one um the other one is this kit uh, those are just a few. You can see how I've printed those smaller. Those are just a few more from that Victorian German Christmas kit. These are absolutely lovely. There's some words there which I haven't cut down yet because I might actually just rip some of those off. So I've left those be for the time being. And there's some music sheets here. The Christmas celebration. Babe of Bethlehem, Christmas celebration again. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And these tags. Now these, absolutely fabulous, are freebies. And I got these from Artie Mays' website. And they're, I think they're probably from last year or maybe uh, before that. Um, these are part of it as well also freebies but they were actually big tickets and had I been sensible I'd have printed them smaller but instead of that I cut the top off them and just made them into uh, like little tags or journaling cards so that one is Artie May's Christmas freebies and they're available on her website and then this is the one I've chosen to use as the main part of the journal and this one is Vintage Merry Christmas by Kleebat Creations, Kleeblat Creations, and again also on um, Etsy. So lots of little bits here that come with this kit. Um, I haven't finished, I was just going to round those corners off with my corner rounder. So yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely. And a sort of coffee, coffee dyed. Um, colour to these which is quite nice little pockets there little um, mistletoe um, tags there lots and lots of lovely lovely bits and pieces in there some more of these and then these are the pages now I've double sided them some of them I've done them on coffee dyed paper but printed coffee dyed paper and um, they're all upside down but they're absolutely beautiful now this color might not be to everybody's cup of tea some of them i've backed with the um the pages without any uh anything on them so like that one 
the, yeah, this colourway might not be everybody's cup of tea, but I thought it was rather nice. And I'll probably make more than one Christmas journal. So this one will um, this one will be uh, nice uh, to do first. So yeah, so there's those. And then these, I've cut them out in postcard size. And what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to cut out, I'm going to make a few more of them. I'm going to, um, I'm going to make them into, well, that's the way I need to fold them, obviously. I'm going to make them into a little booklet. And uh, now I, I've seen this on GCare and you probably know by now that I'm a big follow, follower of GCare. So, uh, yeah, so these stick together like this and then you sort of bind them at the end with the cover. So you end up with a no-sew booklet that those are stuck together, looks like that. So yeah, so I'm quite I'm quite excited about this kit. Really like it. I'm not affiliated to any of these channels. These are just kits that I've found and decided to use. So um yeah, make a start in a minute. Okay, so um I'm ready to make a start on this now. I've got some ribbon ready for the closure, um, which I think will go very well with this kit. And I've got a couple of girls here that I might put on the front. <coughs> I've printed the words off on um, a sort of coffee dyed card, um, which I got from the, <coughs> excuse me, I'll just take a sip of my tea. which I got from the craft shop. I've said before I got this these in a um, uh, a box and you get a box of um, a box of card for I'm just going to trim this. I'm just going to cut this off the uh, off the sheet and then I'll I'll trim it down a bit with my uh, with my fingers. There we are. Um yeah, so you get a cot, you get a box of um, a box of card for five pound, and you just fill up the box with. You go along and decide which ones you want, and you fill up the box, and uh, yeah, it's brilliant. And uh, I've used the last one I've used. This was the last sheet I had, and one I had left. So um, yeah. So I'm going to have to get some more. So yeah, so I might put that on. This is going to be the front. So I might put that on there. And I might put her on there as well. Um, I think she's a bit big, to be honest. I mean, I could cut her feet off because you wouldn't notice underneath that word, would you? But to be honest, I think I like this girl better. And then a bit more of the... Maybe put her over there, I'm not sure. Hmm. Just starting to work on this before I've done anything else now. Yeah, she might go like that, maybe. Anyway, we'll look at her in a little while. So there she is ready. We'll put the bigger girl away and uh, we'll make a start on this so this piece of card is going to be for the um, front cover and i've actually printed this on um, a bit stronger i think it's about about 200 gsm so this one is i've made it four and a half and then the length is just the full length of a piece of um of a uh, of the a of the a4 paper just over 11 inches um, but the length is irrelevant. It's the uh, I've just left it whole because it's easier then <coughs> to uh, fit it on when uh, everything's finished. And then these are the papers for going inside, and I folded them ready because you didn't need to see me folding paper. And these are <coughs> uh, five and three quarters approximately five and three quarters by um four and a 
four and a half. Ooh. Yeah, less than four and a quarter, really. Um, <clears throat> something weird happened with my printer. I don't really know what it is. I'm not using those two. I just kept those just to show you. All I did was uh, fold them in half and uh yeah so i'm not going to use those today <clears throat> but they'll come in useful so i've got um i've got one two three oh dear some things today four <clears throat> excuse me and Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine pages. So what I've actually got is uh, five of the um, five of the reduced pages from the kit, which have uh, pictures on them, like that. And then I've got four of these, which is the plain background sheet from the kit. So what I'm going to do is um, alternate them. So we go one of those and then one of those and then one of those. So we'll put those up there, we'll get some paper. And this is the paper that I've been um, I've been using from cutting out. So. Um, I'm going to just use this for gluing. So let's just make sure they're the right way up. And I think I'm going to use um, Pritt Stick for this because it's just paper. This is just um, 80 GSM. Just checking, sorry, um, I'm just checking to make sure that we're actually recording because for one minute now I couldn't actually remember turning on the um, turning on the video. So yeah, <laughs> so, oh dear, I've just come back from the gym, so um, I don't know. I'm probably a bit dippy. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so. Um, we're just going to put those, stick those together like that. And at the end, you might need to just have a little trim, um, which, you know, isn't a problem. I, this is uh, the backing paper I've cut plenty big enough. So um, if we have to trim, that's fine. There we are. So that's the first two pages. So now we want another one that's... Um, upside down because I did have them in the order I wanted them. Another one that's got decoration on the front. <coughs> so I'm just going to um, I'm just going to I need a bigger piece of paper actually to do my gluing on so I'm going to use some of this because that's just annoying me that those little bits of paper like that. So I'll just use this for now to hand and there we are I'm feeling quite warm because I've got my I've still got my sweatshirt on from being at the gym so there we are make sure this is the thing we have to do is make sure we have these the right way up now um, because otherwise it's going to be a bit of a disaster and excuse me if my head goes in the way I try my best not to do that today um i think this is i don't know i think it's a bit easier to use for this than the um the wet glue because it doesn't um i can't remember which way around i've got these now it doesn't crinkle the paper up so much so i don't think there's a right or a wrong way up with these but we'll keep 
we'll try and keep it the same. There we are. It's important to make sure this spine stays together. More important than keeping the rest together because we can always trim the edges. But we can't do anything about the spine if it's not uh, together, can we? So there we are. That's that one. Now we want one of these. That's a nice one, isn't it? I like that one. Yes, yeah, so I've just come back from the gym. I've just done an hour. Just doesn't like it when I go off and leave her, but you know, we have these things to do, don't we? And it's so nice to be able to go back to the gym again. I mean, to be honest, I only do an hour a week. I'm not, uh, I'm not hugely dedicated uh, person at the gym, but you know, I do it because it's good for my health and um, it's recommended. So yeah, there we are. Okay, so I might fast forward this for you because um, it's time consuming, isn't it? I'm sure you don't want to be watching me gluing these pages on. Just make sure we've got this the right way around again. Yeah, keep that on that side. And again, we'll just make sure that we're keeping the spine nice and equal and even. There we are. So I might be stopping in a minute to take this sweatshirt off because um, I'm absolutely roasting. Now I can hear an aeroplane in the background outside, which, um, gosh, we don't hear aeroplanes much these days, do we? And uh, Hopefully we'll all be back to holidaying again, but uh, at the moment we're not hearing many. Um, but yesterday... Um, I was out on the beach with Jess and a lady was coming towards me with her dog and she started shouting, look, look, she was shouting and pointing to the skies. And as I turned round, there was a huge old fashioned aircraft, it looked like a wartime bomber or something, a big grey thing and it was banking towards us and it was very low in the sky and um yeah it uh sort of went over our heads and off into the into the distance and uh, sadly because it all happened so quickly i didn't have time to photograph it as it was coming towards me but i got my camera out and managed to catch it as it was um flying out over the sea um, but um, I mean, I got I got a photo, but it was very small and in the distance and I enlarged it. And a friend of mine said it looks like a Hercules. So whether it was or whether it wasn't, I don't know. But I have actually seen it before. And um, yeah, I mean, it's quite remarkable to see um, in this day and age something that, that old. And uh yeah, I was. I felt quite privileged to see it, to be honest. So there we are. Um, right, so there's only one more left to do. And I'm making a sticky mess of this. And I think I'm out of camera shot again. So you'll have to forgive me. I've got myself in a right pickle here. There we are. And these are going together quite, quite well on the spine. I think that one's a bit off. But the beauty of this is it's actually the spine itself is going to be hidden and you won't see it. So I'm just going to have another little sip of my tea. So this little booklet is just going to go inside the Christmas journal. And uh, it's just really it's extra journaling space, isn't it? And just a nice piece of ephemera. But I thought, right, I'll make this first and then I've got something. I've made something, haven't I? 
So that's the right way up, I think. We'll just check. There we are, yes. So that's going on there. I notice when I um when I watch other people's videos and they make a glaring error, which happens occasionally, you know, we're all human, aren't we? Um and and you fit you feel you're saying, Oh no, you've done it wrong. And the person's merrily um, going along, having, having not realised they made a glaring error or got the work upside down or some such thing. Um, and, and so I'm very conscious of that when I'm, uh, when I'm actually <laughs> doing my own work because I know what it's like when I'm watching somebody else. Right, so there we are. That's the inside. It's all a bit sticky at the moment. And I think I might leave it to dry before I actually put the um, the outer cover on it. And also because I want to trim it and it's a bit sticky for trimming. So um, I'll go away. And there we are. That's lovely, isn't it? That's lovely. I really like that. And then this little book, I've made it, this little cover rather, I've made it a teensy weensy bit bigger so that we get a little uh, border round and then that just goes over there like that and that's the front cover like that and um, you just clear that down and you've got a nice rounded spine and uh, everything's nice and loose in there and then you can put these on here now i don't know should i cover up that or should i find something smaller just to put on there I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to bob away for a minute. I'll be back in a second and uh, I'll just let this dry and then I'll be back with you. Whilst I was away, I, um, I trimmed all the edges and I, um, I used Vintage Photo to uh, just ink the edges as well and uh, done that on every page. So that's looking quite nice now. Um, okay, so all we've got to do now is attach this to the uh, to this, uh, and I've also I've inked this as well. Uh, so that can go in there, and then that these pages will just attach to the outer uh, backing of the book. So uh, we'll make a start on that. The other thing I need to do is to um, just add a closure. And I'm going to put that, add that closure to this part of the, the, uh, the book before I attach the backing so I'm just gonna see how this will fit and I want it to make a nice bow at the edge and uh, yeah I think that'll be fine there so we'll just cut that off and cut that off there And then I'll use some um, Fabri-Tac just to attach that to the inside booklet. And I don't know whether to call it a signature because I'm not sure whether technically it is a signature or not. But uh, yeah, I think uh, it probably is. Anyway, there we are. So that's that. So Fabri-Tac now. There we are, Fabri-Tac. And uh, won't go too mad with this. Just attach that to there. Put that on there because I don't want it to stick to my mat. You may or may not know the fun I've had with my previous mat when Try to get fabric tack off it, so I really don't want that to happen again. So I'm looking after this mat a bit better. There we are, just make those even. 
There we are. Now then, so I'm going to use a mixture. Now, I've never done this myself, but I've seen other people do it. And they use the... Oops. They use the um, glue stick like that. And then the Fabri-Tac on the fabric and just round the edges like that. So I'm just doing the front bit to start with and then I'll do the back when this is attached. So there we are. Now I think I need to see that from the other side just to allow for where I've Sorry, you're not in the shot, are you? Just to allow for where I've given myself a tiny little bit of overlap there. That's not... There we are. That's even now. There we are. That's just a little bit there. Tiny bit. And of course, this has absolutely glued itself solid now with using those two glues at the same time. So there isn't much wiggle room. Okay, and then that folds over. And that's going to cut it off there very carefully. Oh no, I've put it in upside down. Whoa. There we are. What were we talking about before? about glaring errors and I've just made one so I'll just have a little go at repairing it so put a little bit of fabric tap down there put some glue stick around Everywhere else. And some fabric tack around the edges. Just, just a bead like that. There we are. And then pop this on here. Like that. Peel this off here. Oh, that needs to go back a little bit. Sorry, you can't see. A little bit of edge there. And that's okay. We were very lucky there, weren't we? Um, very lucky. I managed to get that off without having a complete and absolute disaster so now we just need to glue this again and that's okay nothing nothing in toward there gosh we're lucky there okay so we'll glue this again because the glue's dried as you saw there some glue stick down the ribbon and all the way around the edges and then this folds over I see I've gone a bit mad with the fabric tack. That's it. There we are. 
that's good now this is the bit where we've got to be really careful and not cut the ribbon so i've got to cut this edge off leaving a teeny weeny weeny bit of overlap we are and then we'll just ink that up vintage photo See there's a little bubble there. That's fine now. Just noticed that. So I'm glad I did because I can do something about it before it dries again. There we are. So there's our pages. So that's the front one page there for journaling lots of space there for journaling as well and on there so even on the pages with the um with the pictures on we've still got plenty of space for journaling in this little booklet and isn't it just a little sweetie absolutely love it you can see the ribbon through there but it's not a problem is it really okay so We'll have a look at the front now. Um, I'll just ink this around. Once again with my vintage photo. There we are. It's not what's under the tree that matters, it's who's gathered around it. And that's a nice sentiment, isn't it? So I'm going to put that there. And then I decided against the girl because she covers up too much of that flower. So I cut this little sentiment out. It just says Christmas greetings. So I'll just go around that. And we'll actually just go over this white just to so that it's more in keeping with the rest of the... Uh, the booklet because it was very white wasn't it so that's going there and that's going there and I've got a bit of this um, gauze type fabric which I thought I'd put underneath it like that just to give it a bit of interest so there we are that there and that there so let's pop those on and uh, we'll pop this on with some with some uh, glue stick that can go there like that and then we we'll use a bit of fabric tack for this one Oop, helps if you take the lid off. That can go there like that. And then this can go on top. Shall we get it the right way up? Christmas greetings. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Really like that. So we'll just tie the ribbon. And 
and there we are it's not what's under the tree that matters it's who's gathered around it and christmas greetings there and what a lovely lovely little booklet that is really happy with that okay so that's part one of my christmas journal and um, just a small piece of ephemera and next time we will um, start the process of actually building the main journal itself um, attaching the pages and uh, you know finding something to cover it with and I have looked at quite a few bits and pieces that I quite like um, that's not big enough obviously but it would be nice uh, to go on that but I thought this might might work but who knows might have changed my mind by the next time I see you so there we are there's my little booklet no so booklet and making a start on my Christmas journal so I hope you really enjoyed that and uh, and thanks to Jika for the original idea and I'll see you next time bye bye